Hey, eighth graders, this is week 12. It's our second lesson of the week. We are on textbook page 386, topic eight, lesson one. All right, let's start off with a quiz, and this is a blast from the past. This is an old question. What areas of Earth receive direct or spot on sunlight? A, the equator, B, the poles, C, deep ocean, or D, Antarctica? Hey, look, there's a picture. If there's a picture with our question, we should always look at the picture. This picture gives you uh, clues as to what parts of Earth receive direct sunlight. And your job is just hopefully to remember the different parts of the globe. So five, four, three, two, one. One, I'm going to get rid of some answers. I'm going to get rid of the deep ocean because there are some parts of the ocean that are so deep that sunlight never reaches it. I'm also going to get rid of Antarctica because that is just one of the poles and not both of the poles. And if I look where Antarctica would be at the bottom of the globe, it looks like it's getting indirect sunlight. So correct answer is the equator. At the equator, kind of the middle of the globe, the sunlight hits spot on, it hits directly, and because of that, we have warmer temperatures. All right, today's goal is to learn about latitude, altitude, and your attitude. Just kidding, we're learning about how climate uh, is affected by latitude and altitude, and it just so happens that it rhymes. Okay, do you remember what latitude is? What picture shows lines of latitude on Earth? Is it the picture on the left or the picture on the right? What do you think? It is picture on the right. Latitudes are lines that go kind of like side to side around Earth. The other type of line that goes north to south or up and down, this is called longitude. So latitude and longitude I get them messed up all the time, so I still have to kind of look up what they are. All right, but remember, we're not learning about longitude right now. We're learning about latitude. So I also want you to remember that the sun's rays do not hit Earth equally. You've got direct light and indirect light. And because of this, this leads to unequal heating on the globe. Sorry, my nephew is just staring at me. I don't know what he wants. <laughs> All right, so this leads to unequal heating. Colder at the poles, like the North Pole and South Pole, and much hotter at the equator. Based on latitude, which is going to be distance north or south from the equator, the Earth is divided into three temperature zones. Let's look at our temperature zones. We're going to start with polar zones, and these are between 90 degrees north and 60 degrees north, and also 90 degrees and 60 degrees south. So if that's a little confusing, let's look at the map. Okay, so remember, we've got, um, you got to think about Earth. You have the top and the bottom. So north is going to be north of the equator. That's going to be like the North Pole. Okay, and then south of the equator is going to be like where Antarctica is. And we call these regions the polar zones. All right, next we're going to have temperate zones. And I think if you look at that word really close, it looks like temperature, but it's pronounced temperate. And these are between 60 degrees and 30, 30 degrees north and south, so same thing. So here is north. Here is south, and these are called temperate zones. So we're in a temperate zone, but we are in uh, the zone between 30, or excuse me, 60 degrees and 30 degrees north. Okay, and the bottom of South America, that's in another temperate zone, but that's the lines of latitude are south from the equator. All right, so think of living in Buffalo, we experience all four seasons. And that's because we have direct sunlight in the summer, so our summers are warm, but indirect in the winter. So that means our winters are cold. So this is the area that you kind of get all four seasons from. And finally, near the equator, we're gonna call that the tropical zones. And they receive direct sunlight, so they are very, very warm, okay? You got a tropical zone north of the equator and a tropical zone south of the equator. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to altitude, not attitude, altitude. 
All right, so what is altitude? It is distance from sea level, and sea level is exactly what it sounds like. It is the level of the sea. So if you are standing at the beach or the ocean, you are at low altitude because you are at sea level, okay? And if you go underwater, then you're going like negative uh, altitude because you're actually under the water. Now, if you decide to take a hike, hike up a mountain, you're no longer at low altitude. If you're on a mountain, you're at high altitude. And there's a pattern. Because remember, we're still talking about climate, and so altitude does influence climate. So the pattern is, as altitude increases, temperature decreases. I'm just going to say it one more time. As altitude increases, temperature decreases. And that explains why there's snow on mountaintops, because the temperature is much colder than it is at sea level. Do you recognize anybody in this picture? Ding, 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 ding. It's me. I had a lot more energy then. It was only my first year teaching. I don't remember where I was. I think someplace in Germany. But I know it was a very pretty view. Hey, guys. I am Miss Sostowski's nephew. And you probably know me from some of her science videos. But today I'm going to read you the quiz um, question. Which of the following is not a temperature zone on Earth? A. Polar. B. Moderate, C, tropical, D, temperate, temperate, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to get rid of some answers. We're going to get rid of A, polar, C, tropical, and the right answer is, and the right answer is moderate. moderate, 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 sorry. <laughs> and then you can just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I believe in you guys.